we're here today um, for a show that's taking place on the 28th of February at the O2 Arena, um, which features a heavyweight title fight between Tyson Fury, um, who is uh, fighting Hamer from uh, Germany, and on the on the uh, main on the undercard we've got a, a superb fight for the WBO uh, interim, sorry WBA interim middleweight championship between Dmitry Chudinov and Chris Eubanks Jr. Um, it was tough trying to make this fight, but having spoke to Chris Sr., um, we had quite a conversation, decided that uh, we didn't want to be, or he didn't want to, for his son be having 10-round warm-up fights and so forth, and to go straight to it, and let's make the best fight we can. So we worked very hard to make this fight, and uh, Dimitri, for his manager, Vlad, agreed to come over. So we've, uh, we've got um, a great fight no. for the fans here. This is... Uh, I think it's a tough fight for Chris Jr. He's obviously come off of a very good performance against Billy Joe Saunders that he lost on points. Um, this is a fight that, again, I think is another step up for him. But one thing's for sure at the moment, he doesn't seem phased by that, and it seems that that's the type of challenges he wants, so that's what we've delivered to him. He's a, he's a come forward fighter. He's strong. And, um, He's going to be walking onto a lot of shots in the night. He's um, one-dimensional. As far as I can see, him as he's changed up his style from the last fight I saw. So, um, you know, I don't think I'm going to have any problems taking him out in five or six rounds. It's my fifth time when I came here in the UK. And it's and this time I came here, but in other quality, like a champion, and I want to prove uh, my skills here, like a real champion. I want to. I'm. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry about my English, but I, I try so I speak like a, how I can. Okay. It's better than our Russian, I promise you. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just a question for Chris Senior. Um, you care to make a prediction for this fight and uh, will you work the corner? <clears throat> um, a prediction? Yeah. Um, my prediction is only that uh, Junior will, will do what he does best, which is box. And uh, through that, I think he can achieve everything in boxing. <laughs> Chris Judy, you had to change your trainer for this fight because of an injury to our friend Mr. Davis. Um, not in Manchester, I understand. Yep. And um, you're transpiring with the Smith Boys? Transpiring with the Smith Brothers. Uh, What's Paul and Callum? Uh, Paul and Liam. Not Callum. That was part of Callum, yeah. Because Callum's is Callum the door. Yeah, that was part of him, yeah. Um, no, I went up to Manchester because uh, in the south of England I'm not getting any sparring partners. Uh, as simple as that. Up north, there's, it seems like there's more guys that are willing to get in the ring and train with me. Um, I need the sparring, I need, the, I need, I need, I need top quality work. Um, so I've travelled up to the north. Following so far has gone well, um, and uh, you know, I'm in a great shape. Ronnie keeps tabs on your phone like that, doesn't he? Yeah, you know, there's no new trainer. No, I right. um, I'm up there, you know, I have somebody who puts my wraps on and you know, gloves me up and puts my mouth on my mouth, but you know, nobody's training me, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm there for this moment. What we would be looking for. And I'm, I'm going to use the royal we if that's okay to use it. Is that the uh, the winner of this fights the winner of Billy Joe Saunders and Andy Lee? I mean that is what makes all the sense. And if Junior comes through, and if Billy Joe comes through, 
I mean, that fight suddenly becomes a, a much, much bigger fight than it is, and it's a huge fight anyway. But the fact you'd have two belts on the line turns it into a monster, and that's really what the, the thought process was behind making this. But they both got to win. They both got to win, win their respective fights. And I've got to tell you, you know, Vlad is a uh, Vlad and I go back quite quite a few years. I mean, he he doesn't get involved with with uh, bad fighters. I mean, his list of fighters out of Russia are beyond reproach. You know, Lebed, you tell them, Lebed, they have yeah. all the guys uh, retired. I'm very happy coming here. To be honest, guys, it's my dream sit with on table with my friend Frank Warren. You know. Honestly, he is my teacher of the boxing, but I can open other story, a reason why I have an interest to boxing of your country, because my favorite boxer, Chris Eubank Sr. But I have a question to him, why he not change dress right now? He coming to the ring, in same dress like he sit in press conference. Last time I watched fight his son against uh, Saunders. I sit with my small daughter. He asked me a question. Papa, look, he's coming like ballerina. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. He's the legend. This is the story of this fight. I'm very happy coming to this press conference, I'm very happy to have fight against family in Thank you. Do you have an answer? I, I understand very much. I'm, I, I'm, uh, <coughs> I'm speechless, I'm moved. Thank you. It's very kind. Um, Vlad manages and, and looks after quite a few of the, has looked after quite a few of the big names. Um, nearly all the fighters that he's involved with have all won titles at, at, at some level, so um, you know he doesn't get involved with guys who can't fight. And Dimitri, I, will, I can tell you, over the last uh, 18 months or so, he's become a, a different type of fighter in the way he's, he's not including Dimitri. Who's the best Russian fighter that you've ever? In the history? No, who no, you've looked you, at? You, right now? Everybody here. Costa Zoo. Lebedev. Yeah. Also, I made for Russia Lebedev, Povetkin, Kabipa Lakverdiev. I made seven champions. You know, but. He, he still work with me. Yeah. Was uh, a trainer? No, he's the star. He lives in the space, like him, you know. He's, he has same dress, same style, yeah. Dimitri, can you tell us a little bit about your personal background? How did you have a family? Did you have a profession before you were a father? Uh, small thing. You know, he has a brother. His brother also WBA interim super middle champion. He is official contender to Carl Froch. I hope he is English guy also. But best joke in Russia now, two children of brother is two champion new generation. It's Russian answer for Ukraine for Klitschko sister. Do you understand my joke? Yeah. He's, this is his background. Yeah. One big difference between Russia and England, you know. I have too much coal. You know, maybe half a million Russian lives here in England. Everybody tried to call me Vlad. Give it to me, tickets by free. No, 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 no. I have a, here my partner, best promoter of England. Call him, he ready to sell. This is the difference between our country. Alan, you had a question. Yeah, could I just ask you about um, uh, Dimitri's last fight? You know how many people coming to this fight? Yeah, it's 100,000. You're kidding me. Yeah. Uh, we made this thing together in new Russian territory, Crimea, Sevastopol. Yeah. 
100,000 people coming to open area stay. You have a fight in England when 100,000 people coming to the fight. Yes, for his fight. But previous year, previous year we made a record, but we not invite uh, your book because this book is very special, Guinness book. You know, they want, yeah, they want advance before they don't have a presenter who is ready to come to our bike show. That's why they not come. That, that's why they not fix our record. In previous year, in his fight, stay 250,000 people in Stalingrad. No, we have a here fighter who is much more popular in Russia of De La Hoya in Mexico. You know, he made this record. That's good. I mean, it seems to me, as a as a former uh, fighter, it seems to me that this uh, young man's style is one of the old school and the art, the craft of boxing. And uh, what's very interesting to me is that Christopher Genu he, 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 he genuinely is a fighter, but has a great ability to box. And I'd very much like to see him use that ability and for him to beat Dimitri at his own game, which would make it a very, very interesting fight. I mean, uh, it will be because of this, I mean, I've seen obviously a lot both of the guys and styles make fights. Christopher won't have to go looking for him and he won't have to go looking for Christopher. You know, that, that's how it'll be. There'll be it, it will be it'll be you know, the styles will turn it into a into a cracking little fight.